Mission Moments from Lake Grove Prez. We are in Matthew chapter 10 and we're starting at verse 5. Jesus sent out the 12 apostles with these instructions. Don't go to the Gentiles or the Samaritans, but only to the people of Israel, God's lost sheep. Go and announce to them that the kingdom of heaven is near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cure those with leprosy, and cast out demons. Give as freely as you have received. So, Jesus sends out his inner circle for on-the-job training in evangelism in the field. The message and miracles of Jesus will spread through them. But are you surprised that he tells them to only speak to Jewish people? He tells them not to visit the Gentiles, which means non-Jewish people groups, and he singles out the people living in Samaria. Avoid them. First, let's give a chance to those who have fallen away in our own ethnic family, the lost sheep of Israel. What can we learn for our mission practices here? Well, in our zeal to take the good news to the least and the lost in distant regions, we don't want to forget that there are lost people in our own families, churches, and communities. This is a little rep reminiscent of last week's observations. And by the way, it fits perfectly in with Matthew's concern for the Jewish people, this focus. So Jesus told the twelve to focus initially on their fellow Jews and to share with them the gospel of the kingdom in words and also to share the gospel in power. He tells them to heal the sick, cast out demons, and even raise the dead. Our message will be weak if our words are not confirmed by our actions and our actions will not have real impact even miracles, unless they are accompanied by a message that points to God. Starting in our own close-in circles, freely we have received the gospel. Now let us give just as freely. Hallelujah.